I got asked about the people you may know section of LinkedIn networking. Let me show you what this is, how you could use it, and then a little bit about how the system may use it on your behalf. It's right here, it's under my network. Typically under my network, it starts with invitations. But down below invitations is what's referred to as the people you may know section. Now the people you may know section is going to change based on what you're doing on LinkedIn. I recently started doing some contract work with some friends of mine at Skillable. Well look, just because I added Skillable to my LinkedIn profile, now LinkedIn's saying, hey, maybe you wanna meet some of your fellow employees. That's what that's there for. And then you'll see down below this recommended for you. Well, the recommended for me is going to be, again, based on what I am doing on LinkedIn. So if I'm engaging on content at Harvard, maybe this is why this guy showed up. If I haven't looked at that company page, maybe that's why this showed up. All of this content here recommended for you, including this up top here, people you may know, is the system is putting it on this page based on what you are doing. And so again, here's another section of people you may know from the University of Maryland. Well, it always says your alumni page, that's what that is, and these may be people I went to school with. Uh, top emerging creators to follow. Well, this is LinkedIn trying to encourage us to look at the creators and maybe even become a creator. Uh, audio events for you, groups you may be interested in. Watch, it's gonna switch. Now, people you may know in Greensboro is my hometown. Uh, and so uh, people on the IT services, I spent time in that industry years ago. Uh, black voices to follow, I love this. This is more you know, societal ideas for us. Recommended pages, it's gonna go back after one line, recommended, boom, more people suggestions for us. All of this is based on what the system sees us doing. Now, I was, uh, someone did say to me earlier that they uh, scrolled through this page and the next thing they knew what was happening is that people that they had seen in on that page all of a sudden, we're looking at their LinkedIn profile. I'm pretty certain that is only coincidental or the application saying, hey, we, we presented you to Teddy, maybe we'll present Teddy to you, and then they went and looked at your LinkedIn profile. Looking at this page right here, I assure you, does not count as a profile view because I have not clicked on Marissa's profile to actually view it. So it's not a profile view. But this is useful data. The people you may know section is useful information because maybe there is somebody in here like, oh my golly, this is the lady I've been looking for and LinkedIn showed it to me from the people you may know page. So pay attention to this. Don't believe that it is going to count as a profile view when you look at these profiles on this page but determine who on here is somebody that you really do want to meet. Maybe there's somebody there. Here's an update that I just discovered. If you are viewing the people you may know under my network on the LinkedIn app, definitely on the iPad, maybe also on the iPhone, I can't confirm this on any other tablet. But if you're viewing this information on an iPad and you click on any one of these, it's gonna bring up this page here that shows you what may be referred to as a mini profile, which basically shows the banner, the picture, the name, the headline, location, number of connections, highlights, last experience in education. That's all it shows. But that may be considered a LinkedIn profile view. I am waiting to get 100% confirmation from LinkedIn. I viewed these profiles using an iPad. I went to this page right here uh, under my network and then I clicked on these profiles and brought up this page and then I scrolled through the page. Now, I didn't scroll rapidly, but I scrolled consistently just looking for people that I may know and it got the account that I was using shut down. Tip, And then I got a notice from LinkedIn that said the account was restricted because it appeared I was using some form of automation. 
That typically happens if you use automation to view LinkedIn profiles uh, or to view LinkedIn profiles too quickly. Bottom line, this may very well, starting from this page and going to here and scrolling through, may constitute a LinkedIn profile view, which could cause these people to then go look at your LinkedIn profile. I'm Teddy, your LinkedIn and sales navigator, strategist, trainer, and coach, and I hope this page is useful for you.